Hello, welcome back to George's Cards and Stuff. Uh, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the Artful Gallery Art Gallery stamps, and I used this stamp here and the infill one there. Of that, first no, no more of that. Pretty perennials. I used this stamp here for you can't see it very well you can only see bits of it around the outside I also use may your birthday be memorable this is a timeless tropical and I've used that one I don't think this is retired I think this is still current not 100% sure and for the background I use textured essentials and I used that one there. What else did I do? Inside. Wishing you a beautiful day, which is my own stamp somewhere. Don't know where. Oh, I found it. Hang on. Stuck in with me. Um, blocks. I'll have to stick that down. So yes, so now card got the five and a quarter by five and a quarter card base. These are what my daughter bought me. Um, so it's ten and a half by five and a quarter scored up. Is it five and a quarter or five and a half? No, oh, five and a quarter. Scored at five and one eighth folding in half and I've got two pieces of white at five by five and they just go one on top and one inside so we've got a stamp on them I have already cut out all these bits the leaves these leaves came from I stamped them from Harvest, some at Harvest or Harvest something, a retired stamp set, and I stamped loads, and I mean loads, and then I chopped them up because the leaves for this um, uh, art gallery set are massive. It's only them, and they're too big. So that's what I've done, and I have got all the flowers I need, apart from one. So I have got two yellow, a purple, two purple, two blue, I did have a pink somewhere, one pink, oh there it is. And one pink, so we need to stamp another pink and one for the inside. So let's stamp them, move them all the way over there, and we need to stamp the background for this. So um, let's do this background first. Crumb cake. This is scrap paper because I'm going to be stamping off. And what I did, I did the corners. And then I did the rest. No, I didn't do that, did I? Start again. Right. Do the corners. And 
over on the edges. That's it. But then when you've got your leaf on, you stamp your sentiment in the middle. Right, um, put that to one side. Let's just stamp this sentiment on the inner side. If I can get it to stay on the some flowers and I need two. I don't think that's big enough for two. Oh it is. So we'll do I want the pink one first. So I've got plush and bride. And we're going to stamp that there. And I think we'll put a blue one inside. So we've got Sea size spray. Put in this stamp. Sea size spray. And then at the top we're going to do Rococo Rose. I only do the middle flower like that. And Misty Moonlight to go on top of the seaside spray. have to cut them two out using the dies. This one out, but there's the blue flower. Right, what I haven't done is so I could get these in a circle I haven't cut out a circle die so I shall be right back once I've cut one out because I need to cut it on the big shot right I'm back Cut myself out a circle using the largest at the nesting oval uh, circles. I use the largest 
and then the third largest and that will give me my circle there this you can keep later so when you we'll stamp our birthday message in there but first we've got to stick all our um, flowers on to do that I done I popped a bit of glue on the bottom of each flower and I stuck it on the circle then I picked another one and did the same and I overlapped it a bit Uh, have a yellow one. And purple one. And then we repeat the colours. Just making sure it's not sticking to the um, paper. <laughs> Done that before now. Right, and now the purple one. And this one I'll try and tuck that under like that. And that is how I got my ring of petals of uh, flowers on there and now as I've got this space I can tap stamp in my birthday message which I haven't got out Got it out. It was on top of another stamp. And inside I'm going to be using Misty Moonlight. And I'm just going to stamp that in the middle. Now when we put our leaves on, the outside ones it don't matter, but the inside one it will. Now with these I just chop these off, chop the side ones off and stick them under like that. I'm going to take off a bit of that. glue that and I'm actually going to stick it to the leaves, to the flowers, like that. So we do that on a few of them. And try and put one on each um, flower. Have to chop that off. Then 
matter. Right. Need to punch some more out. So I need one, two, three, four, five. It takes a little while to do this, but I think it's worth it. Worth having a nice card. No matter how long it takes. Trouble is when I make cards like this, I don't think about how long it'll take to film them. Which I really shouldn't think about that. Because if you're out interested in it, you'll stay and watch. Right. And now we need to pop these ones in. And what I did is I glued two together like that. And just glued them underneath like that, making sure The words aren't covered up. So what we've got to do no, I don't want them stuck down there. And just one more, I think. Uh, we'll put that one in there. That 
one seems to be a lot um, I've done it different somehow doesn't seem to be as many leaves round the edges so I'm just going to add a few more single ones in between the double ones which I think will make it look a bit better so we just need to punch a couple more out and chop them up One more. There we are. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, I've done this. Right now then, we need to get our spiky stamp, what we've done with it here, and our Highland Heather. And what we're going to do is where the flowers are stamped, I'm just going to go round and stamp a circle of the spikes and anywhere I can't see any like over here I will just add another one That's it. Right, all we've got to do is add this to our card base. So I um glue this down. Like that, and we want this bit to go in the middle. Oh, 
Now this, we're going to load it up with um, dimensionals. So I'm going to put dimensionals on all the leaves that are sticking up on the outside. Not the single ones, just the double ones. Oops. I know it's going to take me forever to take them off, but why don't I start? These used to come off really easy at one time. Right, we've got three more to add. Like a snowstorm at the side of me. Right, I am going to add one to each of the inner flowers. So I do want them to stay up and not go down. Then we'll get some large ones and just put some around it. Right, let's. We had a pink one, didn't we? And this blue one and this leaf, I will only put one leaf on because I've only got one cut. Stick this to here and then we'll glue this down. And that just leaves us some gems to go down. So, on this one I did put quite a few gems down. I put three in this corner, but I'm only going to put two. Three in this corner. One 
one here. And let's stick into my finger. I'm going to put one here. There you are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be able to you will get notified of any um, new videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.